A ton of views about the Ford Stimulus Check, Social Security Benefits, SSI, and SSDI. You don't want to miss out on this, so here it is. Gas prices are continuing to rise again, and now, many advocacy groups are urging the President to take action, executive action, and send out inflation relief checks to Americans. This could be a one-time payment for so many people. New stimulus checks worth more than $400 are going out to hundreds, if not thousands of people. The Minnesota Department of Labor and Industry announced that applicants who chose direct deposit will see their checks within 10 days. The Minnesota Governor, Tim Waltz, said the direct payments in news conference on October 3rd that I'm grateful for the work of Minnesotans did to help people across the state today and stay healthy and safe through the crisis. Frontline workers are an important part of the fabric of our state and help us continue functioning during this time. The Minnesota Department of Labor and Industry announced that applicants who chose direct deposit will see the checks within 10 days. However, you could see your payment within two, three to four weeks if you chose to receive the compensation via debit card. Applicants who applied should have received an email informing them if they were approved or denied for the one-time payment. And the temporary commissioner of the state's labor department said that the industry and the money is subject to federal income tax, but not the state income tax. And lower gas prices in Minnesota, along with cheaper used cars, slowed inflation for a second straight month. But new inflation reports have actually released have actually painted a far rosy picture as many other items increased in prices. Consumer prices surged 8.3% last month, down from 8.5% from a year-over-year increase in July. Inflation is still painfully high as food and energy prices remain volatile, but is down from a four-decade high of 9.1% in June. In the Midwest, inflation rose to 8.1% in August of 2022, and used vehicles are declining, but still remain about 7.8% higher than it is at this time last year. Airfares are declining as well. As major oil companies actually plan to slash production, U.S. gas prices may rise again, with some states potentially feeling the burn more than others. The Alliance of Oil Producing Countries announced it will cut production by 2 million barrels per day starting this October, a move that may put further upward pressure on gasoline prices. Even before the group's decision, gas prices had already started ticking up across the nation after briefly declining again, and the national average gas price stood at $3.89 as of Friday, up from $3.80 from the week before. Illinois residents have just 8 days left to claim this $700 check, everybody. The tax rebates are part of the state's family plan. It was introduced by the bill, from the state senator, and it was who passed the legislature earlier this year. The bill set aside millions of dollars for those who filed their taxes in 2021 to help with the increased costs caused by the crisis and rising inflation. The senator told reporters that from crisis losses to the increased cost of living, families are facing some food insecurity and need financial and are in financial distress. So as a General Assembly, we recognize the daily struggles of hardworking people and pass this bill to help so many people out. So eligible residents have until October 17 to file for last year's taxes to receive the payment. And the amount each person receives will vary depending on the taxes filed. So hopefully people can get the stimulus check that they so desperately need. And in our note today, we highlighted five points to investors, why we think sentiment for the group really reflects a lot of the risks that we see. And when you look at the stock price declines we've already seen for this group down more than 50% year to date and twice the market's decline. When you look at a couple of the bellwethers like Nike already having lowered the bar for the group in our opinion, yeah, we think a lot of the fundamental risks may be in the stocks here, and it certainly requires a certain risk tolerance. We expect a lot of volatility to continue, uh, but in our view, we, we see some opportunities emerging more on a three to six month basis. You like a couple of uh, shoe companies, uh, not including Nike, which is of course way much more than a shoe company, but uh, Deckers and Crocs, which are largely in that area. Yeah, that's right. So to, to be clear, we do like Nike, maybe not as much in the short term as, as the three we highlighted today, uh, given some of the challenges that brand has in China. But the three we highlighted uh, all have some fundamentals that, some factor of fundamentals that we think can help weather the storm and or our structurally better business models uh, that comparing over the last few years. We also think valuation for the three we highlighted are, are quite compelling. Deckers is among the highest quality portfolio brands in our coverage, it has more than $25 a share in cash on the balance sheet, and we think is, is not getting credit for the growth potential of the combined portfolio of both the Hug brand and the Hoka run specialty brand. So that's one we like a lot here as a, as a quality name. Crocs is certainly more controversial. The valuation is much, much lower here. We think the market is pricing in as much as a 20 to 30% cut to Crocs sales and much lower profitability, and also not giving credit for the newest brand they acquired late last year, the Hey Dude brand. 
And, and frankly, all of, all of the market indications seem to be holding up very well for both brands. And we think the, the expectations just are overblown here to the and, downside. And your third pick, which we didn't mention yet, but VF Corp, which has vans and North Face and Dickies, a lot of outdoor, but the Dickies part of that too, with the exposure to the workforce, right? Exciting news, the lawmakers are considering monthly stimulus checks and these payments automatically deposited for millions of people. Democrats are pushing for new checks to be worth at least $300. And now the child tax credit, which was temporarily expanded through the American Rescue Plan, had the existing credit of $2,000 per dependent under age 17. It was increased to around $3,600 per dependent under 6 and 3000 per child under 6 through 17. Half of the enhanced sum was made available through monthly payments starting last July, up to $300 per child under 6 and up to $250 per child under 18. Families could claim the remaining money when they filed their tax returns for the year, and Democrats had hoped to renew some more generous credits this year. But the key legislation they hoped to pass through the Build Back Better bill has fallen apart, and Joe Manchin is the one to blame. He is opposed to renewing the payments without additional work requirements, and it's all on Joe Manchin now. Democrats and advocates are hoping to get one more go at renewing the enhanced child tax credit this year. Adam Rubin, a campaign director and advocacy organization that promotes extending economic power to all Americans, told reporters, I feel better about it than I have at any point in 2022. A number of signs are pointing to new momentum. President Biden called the enhanced child tax credit one of the most effective programs we've ever seen at a recent White House conference and Joe Biden said, that's why my national strategy calls on Congress to expand the child credit permanently will get it done more this time. And recently released census data shows that credit expansion has helped reduce child poverty by more than 40%. That prompted Democratic lawmakers like Michael Bennett of Colorado, Sherrod Brown of Ohio, and Cory Booker of New Jersey to call for extending the enhanced credit before the year ends. The post-election period, everybody, could be a key opportunity for revisiting the proposal. It's a more optimism time compared to last year, as lawmakers are at a year-end tax deal to revisit corporate tax cuts put in place in 2017. Advocates hope an enhanced child tax credit can be included in that package. And Brown said in a recent interview, no more tax breaks for big corporations and the wealthy unless the child tax credit is with it. According to Elaine Mag, an expert at the Urban Bookings Tax Policy Center, there were the few key features behind the success of the 2021 credit, in addition to the higher credit amounts that monthly payments. And now, the credit was made fully refundable. That made it possible for low-income households to access the full credit. Plus, don't forget about this everybody, experts say that when lawmakers negotiate on new terms, an enhanced child tax credit may not be as generous as the 2021 crisis era relief. Now child poverty is poised to increase relative to the last year. Economists have said that Congress had a real choice on whether or not to take action and stern some of the rise in poverty. And the work requirements may be a sticking point in the negotiations between the two parties. Over the past few months, Mitt Romney has pushed for a Republican-friendly version of the